Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Hey. So today, uh, it's a little later than expected, but we are on our way to do the donut challenge. So Vito made this one up. Yeah. So it's not really. It's kind of like a challenge, but it's also kind of like just to uh, to see which place we like better. Also, just something fun to do for the 4th of July, because what's more American than donuts, right? Now, if you can't tell, Hannah's not too excited about this one because she's a little tired today. Mm-hmm. But we're going to make it happen. Uh, so the, the plan and the goal is we're going to... Oh, and Elena's here with us too. The goal is to go to Damn Good Donuts, Krispy Kreme, Donut King, and Dunkin'. And we're gonna try, we're gonna get one donut at each place that's the same. Whether that's gonna be a plain cake or glazed, glazed uh, for Hannah. And then we're gonna get one specialty donut at each place and try them all. Um, we might not finish them all, but I worked out extra hard the past two days, especially knowing I was gonna do this. Even this morning I did, and I told myself I wasn't. But you know what? I wanted to eat those donuts. So making them worth it. So we're gonna take you guys along. First stop, damn good donuts. So guys, what I ended up getting, for Hannah, she got her plain glazed. For me, I got a powdered sugar. And then for my dad, I got him Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia. So they were telling me that the filling tastes like Cherry Garcia ice cream. So that's our plain glazed one, and this is a special one, right? Yes, this is their specialty. They, the only other specialty one they had today was an Oreo one, but Oreo and donut, that's just too much. And because Vito is so good looking, I don't think it was that. <laughs> they gave us this cake. That is a apple <laughs> fritter. That's Holy just crap. That looks like the Death Star. Look at my look at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, oh they said with our purchase today that was on us, so I think they were just being super nice. Yeah, I think this video's good looking. I had a mask on. <laughs> but all right, so let's 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 try this. Just tried uh, the fritter, the glazed, and the powdered sugar. Not so, the Ben and Jerry one, though. We've not tried the Ben and Jerry's one because that is a little too much of a monster, and that one's from my father. He loves that ice cream, so that's all for him. But so we tried powdered sugar. And glazed. I would say I give the powdered sugar one a solid like seven and a half. The reason I say that is because I love their donuts, especially their specialty donuts, but I've never had their powdered or their glazed. They're really good, but they're very cakey. Yeah, very cakey. It's more like you're eating a very, very fluffy piece of, yeah, almost like a fluffy cupcake, but it's crispy like a donut. So you can still tell it's a donut, but it's not. It's not easy and small that you can just pop. Yeah. Very good, probably very good when they're fresh. The glaze, I would give a seven. Because, like I said, it only had glaze on top as well. So it was good. But, but again, cakey. Cakey. Very, very thick and dense. It's like three Krispy Kreme donuts and in one donut. Yeah, I like, I like my... Um, she likes her donuts tiny and, and pop. Airy. Yeah. But that apple fritter, that 10 good. out of 10. That's that thing's insane. It's gonna survive us for like two weeks. <laughs> no, that'll be gone in two days. Mm -hmm. That with a cup of tea or coffee, the bomb. So I give all the other damn good donuts. I say they get 
I just give them five stars because their donuts are delicious um, and their the apple fritters are, nice. are amazing and their workers are fantastic. Thanks for hooking us up with the free fritter, guys. Yeah, thank you. That's there you go. We went to Dunkin'. I got a powdered Bavarian because they didn't have, I didn't want a regular powdered sugar. I wanted a powdered Bavarian. And then Hannah got a glazed. And I got some iced coffee. Yeah, and I got some cold brew. I haven't brew. had iced coffee from Dunkin' in And I haven't had so cold long. brew from Dunkin' in a long time, so let's do it's a taste like... test now. Mm. Really sweet though. Oh, nice. Mix it, maybe it's all the sweetness at the bottom. Holy moly. It's okay, I can drink it though. Try from the top. It's much better, but it is sweet. Woo! <laughs> okay, That's I gave the cold sweet. brew a, a, a solid seven, mm. or six. That's super sweet. I like it though. No, it's, it's sweet either way. Oh, it's better though. It needs to be mixed. I'll mix it. But now, let's try these donuts. Yeah. Base, what would you give that? I wasn't really weighing them my numbers. That one's definitely just, no, that one's definitely better than um, damn good. For me, I know a lot of people love the Kehi Donuts. I hate Kehi Donuts. So if you gave it a one out of 10, what would it be? Uh, probably like a seven, because it's cold. I give my Bavarian probably, it was really good. It was a little dry, but flavor was there. Had a good amount of cream. I give it a six. It was a six because it was right, it was definitely enjoyable, it? but. What do you give it a one? Could have been better. So Dunkin' Donuts, coffee's good. Too sweet for her though. You go to Dunkin', don't ask for cream and sugar because. Holy crap! So I just went to a. We did a little surprise stop since we've got some time, and I went to Dixie Dharma and we decided to give a vegan donut a try for the day. So they only had a few left, but. The one they had was, this was a churro donut. So we're gonna give this one a try. Now, this looks insane. I give that one a solid, I would give that a nine. That was really good. That, we're gonna, tonight when we try them all again, I'm gonna warm all of them up. So I think this one might be pretty impressive when it's hot. But we'll yeah. find out. It's really good in the fact that it's vegan. Mm. Like, I don't know how it's vegan. But. It's delicious though. <laughs> wow. We've been driving around waiting for hot lights to come on and guess what happened? <laughs> the hot lights came on. Oh. Well. Those were. <laughs> yeah, hitting me in the face. <laughs> those were pretty great. I ate five. And I, I had one. one. This is the first one she's actually finished all day, so. No. Woo! I'm not a real big sweet person, so like one donut is enough. I could, if I was really, really hungry, I could probably eat like three. I was really, really hungry. <laughs> but um, they're uh, my favorite, hands down. I give them a thousand. Yeah, I give them a 10. <laughs> I love Christmas. It's just, I think it's because they're just so good. They're just like so easy to eat so many of them. Like I honestly could finish these right now. So this is how it's gonna go down. We're home now. Me and Hannah just took like a little nap watching a movie and she's burnt out. We had a fun day yesterday so she's super tired. Um, but how this is gonna go down now is I'm gonna take a piece of each donut, put it up in the microwave for like seven seconds just so they get warm again. And then I'm gonna decide which one I think is personally the best one of all the ones we got today. This should be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So, what we've got left is we've got a cake donut from Donut King. Plain cake, that's like the go-to, the best. Got a glaze from Dunkin', which was good, but it was all right. And then Hannah's got her blueberry cake, which looks like a dog poop. <laughs> and then we got a couple more Krispy Kremes left. Then this ridiculous apple fritter, and then we got the glazed from Damn Good Donuts, the powder from Damn Good Donuts, and then the churro donut from Dixie Dharma Valhalla Bakery. So let's heat them up and let's see how it is. All right, so here we go. One piece of each going in. So the first one on the chopping block is the 
Damn good donut glaze. Look at that. I love cakey donuts, and that thing is just so good. I'm gonna do the warm Dunkin' Donut glaze. It's good, but it tastes like a cheap knockoff of a Krispy Kreme. So now, let's go to the Krispy Kreme. You know, I'll say this time and time again, Krispy Kremes is always good, and you know what? I really think that might be the best. It's crazy. All right. Now we got this apple fritter. It shouldn't even be on the list because it's not even a donut, but that is something special. That is absolutely delicious. All right. Now we're gonna go with the, the churro. You know what, we'll go with the powdered. I love powdered donuts. That's, that's really good, man. I don't know, that one's really close to the top. All right, here we go with the churro. The consistency of a churro, it's so crazy. Mm, this is gonna be really hard. All right, now this is my all-time favorite. I don't have coffee to dunk it in, so it might not taste that great, but we'll see. Now I remember why plain cake donuts are my favorite. Wow. All right. All right, guys, so honestly, this was one of the most fun food challenges I've ever done, but I genuinely, I think I gotta give the winner to Krispy Kremes, man. Like, for the glazed donuts. For glazed donut, Krispy Kreme is the winner sponsor me but for the specialty I'm gonna have to give it to Dixie Dharma and the Chiro donut that is unreal I'm definitely definitely gonna be finishing this tonight and getting that again one day but all right guys well I think now I'm gonna go for a run because I just ate like 10 donuts today so I got plenty of fuel to get a little run in, and so I'm exhausted for the end of the night. But I hope you guys had a great time watching me gorge on 4th of July weekend, all weekend. And uh, hey man, it's fun. You just gotta enjoy food sometimes. But like and subscribe, and we're gonna be doing more food challenges like this, because you know what? I like to eat, Hannah likes to eat. Y'all like watching us eating, so we're gonna keep doing it. Peace.